another seed. Two to nothing is a pretty good start. Hey, the first one didn't count. What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. Uh, okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. Ready? Now! You know what to do. I got this. Right for the- Boom, baby! Uh. On your mark? Anytime. Now what? Boom, baby! Bye-bye. One to go. Ready when you are. All set. Go, girl. Your turn. Yep. There you go. Yes. All clean. Two to nothing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck. But watch out, it won't last. I feel like a whole new world just opened up. I hope we'll find what we need in this area to repair the nest. Well, there's no doubt about it now. Source was clearly colonized. Look at these. They don't look like research outposts. These are clearly dwellings. Huh. I don't understand. Why would Ex Nova lie in their file? That's what bothers you? There are tons of reasons people lie. I think the question you should ask is, how was the apiary able to colonize an entire planet without anyone noticing? Where did the people go? What does that mean for us? I would like to think it's good news. Really? I don't understand what happened here, but if Source had indeed been colonized, then abandoned, that dramatically increases our chances of finding something to repair the nest with. That's what you call good news? No small victory. Okay. We'll make do. Now I'm hungry. I know, right? And three. Ugh, you are not even letting me take a look! Yum. <laughs> you know what? Walking is nice too. That way, you have time to enjoy all the little bugs crawling around. I'm not seeing any bugs. That means we're walking too fast.
turquoise nodulated cap, semi-resupinate, smooth margin, and hymenium is adenate. Anastomizing lamellia concular with sharp and regular marginates. Short viscid stripe flaring slightly underneath the lamellae. Superic fibrous flesh tight under the hymenophore yet spongy around the tubes. These are definitely Helicobacinium applinatum. Are they good ones or bad ones? Good ones. Very good ones. Not only is Helicobacinium applinatum edible, but it also has healing and immunostimulating qualities. An all-in-one first aid kit. That's perfect. Let's binge on helicaps and immunostimulate our guts. Uh, Helicobacinium applinatum? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, helicaps. Into the back. Seed. Shoot. On your mark. Now. I got this. Let's get it over with. Why? I got this. Got it. Dodge this one. Boom, Boom baby. Cover me. Woo. Take that. This one's ready. I'm on it. You know what to do. You go, girl. One left. Next time you're- Booyah! Got it! Are you okay? Your turn. Yep. You know what to do. On it. Bye-bye. That's how we rock. Easy. Easy. Say, it's much nicer this way. Over there. Do you see that Zygoptera? Depends. What's a Zygoptera? A dragonfly. Then no. <laughs> Seed! The Draca have this location in its memory. And more rust. You can never have too much. Yep. 
This one's ready. On it. Eat it. One left. Ready when you are. Are you all right? You know what to do. Yep. Let's get it over with. And done. That's how we rock. Do we still need rest? Of course. It's always useful. Huh? Did you feel that tremor? Yes. And I don't like this at all. Should we take a closer look? Now what is this? No idea. But its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard pieces in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then. Let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Uh, yeah. Yes. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. I am happy to say that is over and done with. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes, okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is, at what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? That's a baronic question. The nest isn't a bunch of parts glommed together. The nest is more like... a concept. It's the sum total of all the memories we have. The affection shown towards her. The nest will be the nest as long as we're here to call it the nest. And when we're no longer here, she can be anything she likes. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a cunning answer. Of course. I'm the one who gave it. All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. Haha, -ha, there. What do you say about that? All right. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do.
What are you looking at? The distance between us and the apiary. I wouldn't expect it to change. Exactly. It's comforting. All right. You can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise and then I thought, happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. What is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple dews. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <clears throat> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? Um, I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frosember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means, if I hadn't misunderstood that night... It wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, still, that means we would have never known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. Mm, I'm not buying your story. Huh? Why were we stargazing that night? You spent the entire night pointing out this and that constellation to me. Wondering if there might be other inhabitable planets outside of the apiary. Other forms of life. You were completely obsessed with the sky. I was even trying to open up about my issues, but you barely listened. And off you went again, chattering about the comets, the microorganisms, or whatever. So, keeping in mind that you had access to this data about Source, and the fact that you are K. Do you really think you would have never stumbled upon this planet anyway? <sighs> you might be right. <sighs> Was I really that annoying? <laughs> yes. I came to see you that night because I needed someone. I had nowhere else to go. But at the time, I regretted it. I was actually thinking it would be the last time we saw one another. But you insisted. And the following week, you came to see me in the evening with your little homemade cookies. We chatted all night. And I do believe that is when I fell in love. Which means that beforehand... We had known each other for like three weeks, Kay. Do you really think that I fell head over heels the first time I saw you? I know I fell head over heels the first time I saw you. Oh, okay. 
You just like my looks, then. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. You mean you don't like the way I look? I have a feeling there's no right answer. Then don't answer. Improve what, exactly? Is there any way I can help? Nope. I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow-rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? You could always sing to them. It helps. For real? No scientific study has ever proven the contrary. So... maybe? Do you think they'll like some... acrobats? It'll be your mission to find out. So, what's the plan exactly? Walking right back to this dead end? What? This is the path we took when we were separated from the nest. There's nothing there. I know, I know. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Huh. Works for me. Another one. Double backflip. What's up? Oh. Well, I have to admit, I just flipped once. Oh yeah, so did I. It's a double, because there's two of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> the last one uh, are we eating soon are you already hungry I'm just looking ahead we're gonna get stuffed
now. Where's our thunderous applause? We know what's that way. I think we scared them. Hey, I'm sorry to say it. I can't go any further without eating something. Sing here. We need to take a food break. You know, technically the Zygoptera aren't quite the same as dragonflies. More like, they're cousins. Have you been mulling this over the whole time? I was trying to rein it in, lest I would sound too... nerdy. On your mark! Anytime! He's ripe for the picking! Harvest time! Uh. Are you okay? Target left! Nice shot! One down! Eat it! This one's mine. Boom. Aha! You? Yep, saw that. Your turn. On it. See you around. One left. This one's ready. Yep. Well done. Who's next? Enjoy. It may be your last. You keep telling yourself that. Followed. There's 
still more. Apple dues again. So there's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. You never really said, how was it, working for my mom? What do you mean? I don't know. What was she like as a boss? She wasn't my direct boss. Quit playing with words. To be honest? I never had a complaint. She was always legit to me. She's the one who scouted me and got me the position. She always supported my work. Sometimes, even against the opinion of my hierarchical superior. Really? And also, I kind of got to meet you, thanks to her. <laughs> That's true. Let's not forget to send her a thank you note. <laughs> She'd have a stroke. We still haven't checked out the fragment flagged by the Draca. It is kind of far, though. 